Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today, this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. Please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you, and that's okay. Please be your, um... I forget what I was going to say. I got distracted. <laughs> Listen, there's something here about distractions. There's something here about somebody wanting you to be distracted. Someone wants you to become unfocused, imbalanced, unbalanced, something like that. Someone wants to throw you off. All right. Like there's someone here that really wants to keep you confused about something. All right. By the way, this is going to be, uh, this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So. Be your own leader discernment, all right? Pick up what does resonate with you and leave the rest for someone else to appreciate. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, let's, let's dive into this, okay? Before, okay. On my way back home from the post office, um, I saw a license plate that said shift on it, okay? There's definitely some sort of shift that is gonna be taking place soon and i feel like whatever this shift is it's definitely bringing some sort of change okay to somebody's life all right or collectively there's a gonna be a collective change okay i don't know if this is good or bad but it's inevitable whatever it is all right also before i started the read um it was 404 so let's just look at this let's look at what this angel number means okay Amazon. Someone here might be getting some sort of delivery or some sort of message is coming towards you or coming to you soon. All right. Someone here could work for Amazon. Don't have to be. Or you're waiting on, you're expecting something. Or you could be feeling like you're expecting. You don't know what it is, though, whatever this is. You're expecting change, though, but you don't know where it's coming from or what it's what it's about that's for some of you not all y'all so 404 means a, or says a sign urging you to take a closer look at your relationship and work on improving the areas that will give you and your partner a solid and stable foundation that's for some of you not all y'all that's gonna resonate we got the meaning of the angel number 404 is a symbol of strength perseverance and building a solid foundation okay so I feel like whatever this shift that's coming in, it's going to help. It's going to help you with your foundation you got going on, okay? Something is about to happen. It's about to happen. 404 is also a sign from the universe that your angels or spirit guides, um, the universe, or the divine God, whatever label you want to put on it, they are present, okay? They're present with you and they're supporting you. Um, I also was picking up something about uh, the number 28. I haven't seen that number a lot, okay? You could be seeing the, the time on the clock, 128, 928, 1028, 1128, 1228. Something about the number 28. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to get blessed. If you're seeing this number a lot, you're about to be blessed. Let's see what this number means. Also, when I was setting up, I don't know if you guys can tell that like my, the way I positioned the camera, basically my phone this time is kind of different because things fell over. Like right before I was going to start this read, like, my little thing with like my um, sage and stuff, this all fell. I had, to, I had to like sweep up all like the ash and stuff. And my whole setup fell. So it's like, yeah, there's somebody here that really doesn't want this message to be, you know, sent out. Let's see. So, like, or someone's angry. That's what it felt like. I feel like someone's angry that the shift is coming. This collective shift because whatever the shift is it's not it's not something that can be stopped right it says the spiritual meaning behind angel 28 is all about balance the power of potential building your dream life 
connecting with others, trusting your one true heart, welcoming abundance, living in the moment, and learning to let go of old cycles to make way for spectacular new starts. So whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to have some sort of new beginning, new start. Okay, you're being asked to really focus on where you're being guided and trust that you're being guided in the right direction, right? I also feel like... You, um, There's some sort of lucky situation that is going to be happening or that you're about to get some sort of good luck. You guys could be seeing the angel number 777. All right. Also, I was getting something about crickets, right? So maybe, <laughs> maybe those who are trying to oppose you, like actively, aggressively trying to oppose you, maybe they're, maybe they have gone silent. Okay. Or maybe there are certain people you haven't heard from in a while that were all up in your energy for a little bit and now they're just, they've gone quiet. It's for a reason. I'm also getting with the crickets, like somebody here wants you to be silent. Someone wants you to be quiet. Someone doesn't want you to say something, okay? I also was picking up the name Tracy. I was picking up Paul and I was picking up Morgan. Ashley. Okay, you guys could also be seeing the angel number 999. Um, but let's look up crickets. Did you hear that? One door closes, another one opens. Let's look at this one. It says crickets symbolism and spiritual meanings um let's see crickets symbolize focus self-expression intuition and sensitivity crickets are also signs of good luck good fortune wealth and abundance and communication as it relates to good fortune many believe that killing crickets brings bad luck okay so listen whoever i'm speaking to there's somebody here that wants to bring bad luck to your good luck they can't because whatever this is it's coming from the divine all right it's coming from the universe from god like this is something that cannot be stopped this is something that is destined for you all right dang i also was smelling um maple syrup earlier so i don't know if someone i don't know maybe you were eating maple syrup or it also makes me think about Canada. So I don't know. Maybe whoever I'm speaking to, you're from Canada. All right. Or someone you're dealing with is from Canada. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Also, I was picking up something about apartment number nine. Someone here could live in an apartment number nine. Someone here could be born in 1995. Okay. Also, I was... um. I feel the need to say this, okay? So if you guys are um, feeling like foggy in the mind, okay? Or it's hard for you to concentrate or focus on things at this time, possibly because you guys could be psychically attacked at this time, or this is what someone's trying to do to you, try, try taking a lion's mane, right? Because that will help you. I know lion's mane helps you with like, being able to focus, it helps with you gaining more clarity, right? Clarity of the mind. Lion's mane is also a mushroom. There is someone here that could be trying to make you... Listen, it's... Okay. Whatever someone's trying to do when it comes to your mind, right? I feel like it's backfiring on this person. And now something's about to happen to them, okay? This person might end up having some sort of public freakout. Someone here might be, um, might hallucinate or something. Um, like mushrooms. That's why I'm thinking. 
someone or maybe someone's trying to make you hallucinate lose your mind lose your sense of reality but someone else is gonna lose theirs I also know a lion's mane helps you it helps prevent dementia or something or it helps those who have dementia Maybe someone here, they were doing magic so that you could have dementia. So that you could be quiet about something, so you won't remember something, so you can't say something. For whoever I'm speaking to, this can even be regarding like a court case. Maybe you're involved in a court case, a court situation. Maybe you're called to testify and someone doesn't want you to testify. You could be a witness to something. Or maybe you're just someone who knows something about that, an individual or a situation. Someone's afraid you're gonna speak out. Okay. What the hell going on? What is going on, spirit? What's going on? I also feel like if you've been feeling uncertain about something here you need to know that you're going to come out winning from whatever this situation is confirmation you're going to be coming out winning all right also whoever i'm speaking to like you have wisdom that you need to share or knowledge or life experiences that you need to share and there's someone here that doesn't want you to share them okay there's somebody here who needs to deliver a message or give information to someone i don't know a shift is coming or maybe this is how this shift is coming in someone's gonna speak up about something that they've been holding on to i don't know but it's about to happen something's about to happen whatever this is it's about to change a lot of things holy spirit holy angels what is going on with this collective energy saturn okay I feel like someone here who has been holding back information or not saying something is causing limits or restrictions on them or other people. It's restricting some sort of um, good things to attract to them or, or someone's hoping to stop good times or pleasure to be in your life by holding information back. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the heck is going on? Someone here could be a Capricorn, okay? Or this could be the devil himself that doesn't want you um, to be free. Wants to keep limits on you, restrictions on you. Doesn't want you to be out here uh, sharing your life experiences or your wisdoms to, to, with others. So they could also be free from bondage. Free from restrictions of the mind. Okay. Someone's working with um Let me keep going. What is there? What is it? What do they need to hear at this time? Yeah, someone's trying to stop you from being of service. Being of service to others. I'm also getting like something about your diet is very important right now. Whoever I'm speaking to, you really need to pay attention to the types of things that you're putting into your body. Okay. Maybe somebody just wants you to do things out of pleasure instead of um, out of like what's best for you. I'm also getting like somebody here wants to influence you to take a, a risk or a leap in love or a gamble in love. Maybe that's why the 404 is out here. You need to like reconsider or really think it through when it comes to some sort of relationship or union here. I don't know if this is a union you're already actively in or that you're about to be in. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What's going on with them? Hmm. 
Hmm. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Who's involved in this situation? What zodiac signs? We got Scorpio. Something here is about to end, so something new can begin. Okay? It's about to happen. Or someone might be passing away. Someone might be, um, you know, transitioning from this 3D world to the spiritual world. My condolences if this is what's happened. I'm also getting like somebody here wanted you to, wanted you to transition. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What's going on? What zodiac signs are involved in this situation? We got Virgo. Somebody here could be a Virgo or they could have Virgo somewhere in their chart. Are there some sort of secrets that a Virgo knows? Are there some sort of secrets that a Scorpio knows? All right. That they want to share. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or Virgo wants to share. Or they want to share it to you, Scorpio or Virgo. Okay. I'm also getting like, you know the secrets of how to heal. Maybe that's the wisdom that you need to share. Okay. We have Aquarius. Someone here could be an Aquarius or they could have Aquarius somewhere in their chart. All right. Mm. Come on. You're about to discover something here or someone's trying to stop you from discovering something about how to heal yourself. Or there's a particular person that is in the collective or whoever this reading is for like someone doesn't want you to heal a particular person because if you do if that person heals it kind of creates a ripple effect i don't know we got leo someone here could be a leo or they could have leo somewhere in their chart all right we got gemini somebody here could be a gemini or they could have gemini somewhere in their chart Someone here wants to explain something here. They want to communicate something to you that has been hidden. We can get in this energy. This could be a Gemini that wants to tell you or or any of these other signs. We got Cancer. Someone here could be a Cancer. Or they could have Cancer somewhere in their chart. Someone here could be a Taurus or they could have Taurus somewhere in their chart. Didn't I say something about ashes earlier? Let me see. Something about David, David Bowie. Someone's name could be David. Do you guys keep hearing that bird? What kind of bird is that? What is this? And now there's a police or ambulance. Something's happening. Something big is about to happen. Listen, child. Okay, so I was hearing ashes to ashes, dust to dust. It says a, f a phrase from the burial service in the in the Book of Common Prayer. It says, we therefore commit this body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Child, what the hell is going on? Someone here could be Catholic. It says, we come from nothing and we return to nothing. What? Listen, someone might pass away, okay? Did I say Taurus already? Someone here could be a Taurus. Can you tell me more, Spirit? What the hell is going on? Who else is involved in this situation? I guess nobody, okay? We got Sag. Someone here could be a Sag or they could have Sag somewhere in their chart. Someone's impressed about what you already know. Or someone's impressed on how you know something. They don't know how you know something. I don't know. Okay. I could be talking to someone who's very clairvoyant. Or you, your intuition is very heightened. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the hell is going on? There's a lot of birds. Someone here is about to get a much needed message. That's what I feel like is going on. The birds is talking. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? 
someone tried to burn something or destroy something okay someone tried to um eliminate something so it can't be seen anymore someone here could live or live around a lot of cedar wood or someone works with wood Someone could be like a woodsmith. I don't know what they call them. Carpenter. <laughs> Let me stop. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you. Okay, we got Crown Chakra in reverse. So someone here really is messing with someone's head here. Okay. Um, I'm. You guys might need to look up like ways to um, protect your Crown Chakra. This keeps coming out. So let me get this book. Let me get this book. Some of you might need to uh, work with amethyst, um, clear quartz, or selenite when it comes to your crown chakra. Okay, it also says diamond. So, diamonds, I guess, help with your crown chakra. I didn't know that. Ciao. Okay. Or something about wearing the color purple can help you with your crown chakra. Someone needs to purify their energy or their crown chakra here. Let me look. Let me see what it has to say. I know it says something over here before. I was just reading this earlier. There's a certain T. There's a certain T here. I don't even know how to pronounce this child. Let me look. Listen, I'm not good with the English, all right? <laughs> I'm not good with speaking the English. Let me see. Listen, I grew up I grew up fucking learning how to read with hooked on phonics. Okay, so <laughs> we got look, we got I don't know what it's called, child. I don't know how to say it. Go to go to color, child. I don't know. This. It looks like Goku. <laughs> I can't. You guys need to drink the Goku tea. <laughs> go to color for crown chakra. It's a plant in the Himalayans, okay? It is used by yogis to enhance meditation. It says the growth of the crown chakra is considered to be facilitated by the go to kalala abilities to balance the two hemispheres of the brain this rejuvenating herb aids in the medical treatment of your nervous system blood pressure regulation bloodstream de detoxification and improved sleep it says you can use fresh dried or powdered leaves and stems to make this herbal tea as that's left to do all that's left to do is to begin brewing the tea okay so All right. Let me show you what the what I was talking about last time with the yoga position, the yoga pose. Come on now. Come on now. Do, 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 do. this child it's called the corpse <laughs> jesus christ look is this pose right here this one see how they're laying flat on the ground with that palms up to the sky okay it says close your eyes as you lay on your back you might wish to wrap a blanket around your body give yourself permission to feel heavy on the earth Allow your arms and your legs to hang open. It says release every body part, organ, and cell, starting at the bottom of your feet and working your way up to the top of your crown chakra. It says allow your eyes to close tightly. 
Bring inner stillness and silence into your body, mind, and spirit. Send a total of 5 to 15 minutes in Shavasana. Then breathe more deeply while gently moving your body and regaining awareness of it. Do a right side roll, take a deep breath, and situate yourself comfortably in a sitting position. Take the tranquility you have established with you for the remainder of the day. Okay? Okay, class is over. Some of y'all need to step into your personal power. Take charge of your life. You are not a fucking victim. If you feel like someone here is psychically attacking you, take action to defend yourself. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do I need in here? This is what someone's afraid of. Someone's afraid of this. I'm also getting like somebody has awoken a beast within you. I'm also getting like someone's surprised because they, they're they seeing another side of you that they didn't think um, you had inside of you. If that makes sense. I don't know. The strength inside of you. Tell me more. Yeah, we got sacrifice here. Someone here could be under judgment because of something that they tried to do or what they tried to take away or... Or someone's under judgment because you you let go of them energetically, spiritually, whatever. You could have walked away from this person. Okay. I'm also getting like somebody here is going to be gaining an, a different point of view or a different perspective when it comes to something. I'm also getting someone here doesn't want you to see clearly. Okay, so that you don't let someone go or let something go. Someone doesn't want you to sacrifice something. Because if once you do, you'll be able to gain something here. You'll gain this good luck, this fortune or, or something here. Like someone here wants to stop you from seeing something clearly so that they can continue to allow run to allow time to run out or allow time to keep going for you to keep going into some sort of cycle. All right, someone here could be born February 12th or something about the date February 12th could be very significant for some of you. That date is coming up. Um, there's also something here about the date February 7th. This could be your guys' birthday, somebody's birthday. Don't have to be though. All right, could be significant. Okay. Or someone's birthday could be um, December 2nd, December 7th. Okay. There's some sort of... Um, information that's coming in quickly or something's about to take off very quickly for you okay or you're about to get some sort of download here that's going to lead you to some sort of recognition and reward and this is what someone doesn't want you to have this is what this is under sacrifice someone wants to sacrifice this for you someone doesn't want this to happen for you i'm also getting like you could be this sacrifice that someone's trying to fulfill so that they can get some sort of recognition or reward but I feel like they could have ran out of time because you are now free. We have freedom at the bottom of the deck. Or someone knows that you're free. They don't they they ran out of time to do something when it comes to you and your life or your destiny. It says I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Ciao. <sighs> holy spirit holy angels what the hell going on in this deep ass read something about to happen something about a library something about books something about information something about the akashic records something about someone has something on record Someone's a fucking monster, dude. Why do we have why do we have crown truck in reverse? Ooh, will of Fortune wanted to flip out. Somebody don't want you. Someone is trying their best to stop you from this will of fortune coming into your life. Someone's trying to stop some sort of shift in the collective or the change in general. Someone's really trying to this could be happening collectively. This crown chakra in reverse. Somebody want the powers that be want people to not see things clearly. They don't want people to change the their belief systems or the way they perceive the world or themselves. Because if you do, you become free. 
something like that is going on. Someone's going to be losing control. Your freedom means their loss of control. Someone, someone sniffs a lot of powder. What, where are we have crown trap rumors? Yeah, I don't know. Someone here, um, they want you stuck in this Eight of Swords energy. Someone doesn't want you to free yourself here, but you're about to get some sort of information that's going to free you from something here. Someone here, ooh. This could have been an ex-lover that you were involved with. This could have been even someone that you were dealing with like years ago. This person still is holding on to your energy or is playing in your energy. They don't want you to know or see things clear, uh, clearly about what they did to you in the past. Someone is trying to prevent you from healing because we have the Three of Swords in reverse here. Okay. I'm also getting like someone's trying their best to stop someone from committing to another individual. Someone wants you to keep viewing someone in a negative light. We have the uh, lovers in reverse. This could have been someone that you broke up with or someone wants you to break up with somebody. I don't know. Depending on your guys' life, I don't know what you got going on. We got strength at the bottom of the deck. Someone here could be a Leo. I could be speaking to a Leo or someone who has Leo somewhere in their chart. Or someone here underestimated your strength here. All right. Someone doesn't want someone to have a download or an epiphany or something or an awakening. What is this? Uh, it's not crazy. Something about three cycles, three patterns, three. Something happens in threes. Someone here could be 30, 38, 37, 32. Someone here feels like a fucking fool. I'm also getting like. You taking some sort of leap of faith. You taking some sort of risk here, even though you're afraid. So this is this is giving me courage. Whoever I'm speaking to, even though you're 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 afraid of something. Or something's making you uncomfortable, you still taking action even though you don't feel comfortable. It's gonna lead you to some sort of recognition and reward here. But it's going to require you to sacrifice, like, maybe a mindset that you have. Some sort of fear, something here. You got to sacrifice some sort of comfort. A comfort zone. What do we have that? Uh, game game uh, game game. Someone's been waiting a long time to try to give you something. Someone doesn't want to give you something. Something that's owed to you. Someone's trying to escape or trying to get away with something. Someone's trying to tie someone up. Someone wants to tie someone up. Someone doesn't want you to see this coming. Some whoever I'm speaking to, they know that you have um intuitive gifts. Someone this person knows this. Okay, I could be talking to a Pisces or someone who has Pisces somewhere in their chart. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're going to be, um, if you listen to your intuition, it will help protect you, okay? It will move you to karma waters, so just be alert. Yeah, you're going to have some sort of victory here. Someone here is doing like a life review. Or this could be you. Okay. I also feel like, okay, this person that was supposed to exchange something to you, they, they're having some sort of review of their whole life and they're realizing they want to make something um, balanced in a relationship or they want to heal something with you with this star card at the bottom of the deck. Someone here could be a, uh, an Aquarius or they could have Aquarius somewhere in their chart. Oh my lord. What do they need to know? Someone here could be born in 1983, 1982, 1970, or 19, well, I said 1970, 
Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you about to get some blessings here. That's what this communication that's coming in. It's going to lead to some sort of blessings, okay? Or some sort of much needed enlightenment. Enlightenment is a blessing. Knowledge is a blessing, <laughs> okay? Someone here wants you to ignore something. They don't want you to believe something. They don't want you to be aware of something. This is why someone's playing so much in your in your with your in your energy. Yeah, someone wants to keep you trapped in illusion. Someone doesn't want you to um let go of some of some sort of illusion here. I'm also getting like somebody wants you to think that you receiving some sort of recognition and reward is a illusion. Someone wants you to feel like um miracles aren't real. Somebody wants to put some sort of death or ending to your dreams or goals and your aspirations. All right. Or somebody here was literally daydreaming about sacrificing you, child. Somebody wanted you to be ashes to ashes, dust to dust, child. I don't know. That's what that's what it looked like. And they were going to be getting some sort of recognition and reward because of it. I don't know what kind of sick situation that is. This is, but it's not. This is not for everybody. This reading is not for everyone. This is this reading is or message is for for uh, confirmation, not new information. Okay. Somebody getting sick. Whoever ran out of time to do something to you, they're getting sick now. They could be experiencing, like what I said before, some sort of ailment or dementia or something with their mind. They could be becoming mentally ill or developing some sort of illness here. You have the freedom to start a new beginning. Why do we have freedom here at the bottom of the deck here? Someone here was trying to curse you from being free by trying to cause death in your life. Do you see this? Do you see this though? And then right after it is death. Oh wait, that was in reverse. Death. Someone feels guilty because right after death is guilt. Someone feels guilty now because of what they were trying to do to you. Trying to sacrifice you, trying to end things in your life. The reason it's not working is because whoever I'm speaking to, you're in your purpose. You decided to become, to be courageous and brave and step into your purpose. It says, I know what I'm here to do. And you're courageously doing it, whoever I'm speaking to, or you're about to flip it where you need to go. Ciao. Yes, whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to meet your eternal love as well. Or some sort of blessing here is going to be lasting an eternity. I'm also getting like someone here was promised an eternal life if they decided if they went through with some sort of ending of your life. I don't know what the heck that's about. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear? What do they need to hear regarding this reading? Because gosh dang, spirit. What do they need to hear? Yeah, we got trauma. Someone was hoping that if they continue to bring trauma into your life, okay, that you would lose your mind. Someone wanted to cause so much pain and turmoil into your life so that you could lose your freaking sense of reality. This is gross. It's because someone here knows that you're you're clairvoyant. They don't like the knowledge that you possess. Holy Spirit, holy angels. It it, it threatens them. Your knowledge threatens their their um, freedom in their mind. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a Jesus descendant. That's my daddy back there. Holy Spirit, holy angels, tell me more. You're being asked to save your space at this time because someone is definitely sending you some negative energy. Confirmation. You got success coming towards you. Someone's really trying to block this for you. Please eat healthy at this time. Eat clean. Purify your body. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are a star, a star seed, okay? Anything you put in your body, you're very sensitive to. All right. We have dream messages. Pay attention to your dreams. You guys could be experiencing a lot of lucid dreams at this time or your enemies here are trying to get inside your dreams. Infiltrate your dreams. Try to talk to you in your dreams. Be mindful of that.
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who are these motherfucking enemies? I'm also getting like you guys are gonna um, gain some sort of new perspective or some sort of new um, information that's coming from the universe, the divine, through your dreams. That's gonna change something for you. Someone really, someone knows this is coming and they don't want you to know because it's going to expose your enemies. Why do we have enemies here? Who is this enemy? Who are these enemies for my, uh, for those who are watching? Your enemy could be a Scorpio or someone who has Scorpio somewhere in their chart. Or this is someone here who's very secretive or obsessive or someone here you already know that you can't trust, okay? Someone here could be a snake or they could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a snake. This could be you or them. Flip it where it needs to go. This is someone here who thinks they're very intelligent. This is something here was very organized. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more what's going on with these enemies? Who are these motherfucking enemies? All right. Someone here could be very karmic, obviously. We got Sagittarius. You could have a karmic Sagittarius, a karmic Scorpio, a karmic snake. Flip it where it needs to go. Or these are your signs. All right. Tell me more, Spirit. What is going on? Who are these motherfucking enemies? Someone here doesn't like your, your ideals, your beliefs, for sure. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit. Note the date. This could be you or this could be the sign of your enemy. Who's this enemy spirit? This enemy could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger. Note the date. This could be yours or theirs. For some of you, one of your enemies could be a feminine energy. Or I'm speaking to a feminine energy or both. Tell me more. Who is this enemy child? This enemy wants to come in and act like they want to nurture and support you. Do not trust this person. This person could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart or you do. Someone here is, um, they, they're going to do something impulsive. Okay. This person could have a lot of mood swings. They could be, they could, um, lash out in anger. We got Leo. Someone here could be a Leo or I could be talking to a Leo that this is happening to, flip it where it needs to go. Someone here is going to be doing something dramatic or there's something here that someone's going to be doing in public, like a like a public freak out or a, I don't know, a, a want maybe this is someone that wants to have a public argument with you, all right? There could be a new connection that you have that you don't realize is an enemy of yours or was sent by your enemy. Someone here could be a Capricorn. Or they could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart that's your enemy or your Capricorn. Flip it where it needs to go, child. Okay? One of your enemies is someone that you've known for a very long time or that you were in a very long-term relationship with. We have long-term and then we have um, companion, partner, blah, blah, blah. This is a heavy-ass read. I feel the energy and it feels... I, I need to sage my room. Okay, let's do... Um, Let's keep going. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need here? What's going on with this energy and the message that um, we got here? Something here about your uncle? I just heard Uncle Sam. I don't know. Tell me more. Something about taxes, possibly. We have grand larceny. Something about a large sum of money could be significant. Maybe your uncle knows about a large amount of money that was taken from you. Maybe they want to speak up and say something. Someone here could have a DUI. All right. You could have a DUI. Flip it where it needs to go. Someone needs your voice or someone needs you to testify or speak up about something. Okay. It says, you are not responsible for how others feel about you. You need to protect your peace at all costs at this time. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more what's going on. We got slow and steady wins the race. Tortoise. Something here about tortoises could be significant for you. <laughs> I'm not... We have 999. Someone here could... Um, something about the number 999. You could be seeing this number. You are beginning again. We have paid someone to watch you. Your uncle could have paid someone to watch you or someone in someone close to you, one of your enemies. 
They were paid to watch you. There's a new connection that probably you made with someone. Doesn't have to be romantic. This person probably was paid to watch you. We got, um, 7777. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? We have fake friend. Whoever I'm speaking to, you got a fake friend around you. Pay attention. This person could be a Scorpio. Scorpio, this is all, you all over this read. Okay, there's a Scorpio out here. Or there's some sort of large sum of money someone stole from stole from you. This could be regarding an inheritance. We got um, Q. Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with a Q. Okay. We have anger. Someone here is very angry. What was I saying before? This could be a fake friend of yours that's angry. We have ringing in right ear. You guys could be experiencing ringing in your right ear. Something about your third eye awakening. Okay. We have angry. There's a lot of anger. Angry because they broke and you ain't. So someone's upset about your resources. Someone's planning to steal. Either someone has already stole, stolen a large amount of money from you. Or someone's planning on doing this. And they could have paid someone to watch you. To figure out what your movements are. That's for some of you, not all of y'all. Ooh. Tell me more, spirit. What's going on here? Someone here could be a Pisces, or they could have Pisces somewhere in your chart. Either someone is angry at a Pisces, or there's a Pisces here angry at someone. Or someone's fake friend could be a Pisces. We got 8888. All the money you all you all the money you spend is coming back to you times 10, okay? Someone's upset because you're getting redemption. We got midnight. Something about midnight. Someone's been planning to do something to you. At midnight, you're being asked to stay to yourself at this time. Someone here has tried to break into your house. Or this is what someone's planning on doing at midnight or where they were. Or this is, I don't know. I don't know your life. Something about a ring camera is significant. Yeah, we got you were a blood sacrifice. Something about some sort of ritual. Something about life insurance. Something about inheritance. Maybe someone was doing something in order to have fame and fortune. There's someone here that wants to argue with you. Because everything they plan to do doesn't work. <sighs> what the f is going on? You got a drama creator around you? Or there's someone here that wants to create drama with you? They want to fight with you in public? We have you are stronger than you thought. Someone here could be a Libra, Virgo, Cusp. This could be you or someone else. Flip it where needs to go, child. What do they need to hear? Something about someone's stepmom. Someone's stepmom could have lied under oath in the court of law about you or about someone else. Someone's stepmom thought, wanted you to be a, a blood sacrifice or I'm speaking to someone who's a stepmom. Someone's trying to make you a blood sacrifice. Someone lied in court. They're getting in trouble. Someone could have paid their friend to lie about you in court as well. Someone going to jail. Somebody here going to jail. This person could be in a cult. Or somebody here could have wanted you to go to jail. They could have been saying that you're a cult leader. <laughs> I don't know. People is crazy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Someone's obsessed with you. Someone's obsessed. Obsessed with your pockets, what you got in them. Obsessed with who you're with, who you sleep with. If you even sleep with people. <laughs> Someone's upset because you cut them off. They went to great lengths to figure out what's going on in your life because you weren't speaking to them. Someone here is about to get in trouble for conspiracy to commit a crime. Someone's upset because you remembered yourself. You remember who the fuck you are. Or you're about to. Maybe this is what this download that's about to come in. Maybe this is why someone keeps psychically attacking, psychically attacking you and trying to disrupt your downloads or disrupt you from receiving messages in general. Fucking with your crown chakra. You could be experiencing a lot of strange vibes from someone. You need to pay attention. 
okay? You could be feeling strange vibes at midnight or in the middle of the night. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to your surroundings. Someone here is trying to shut you the fuck up. Someone wants you to go cricket. Bro, tell me more. Someone here is going to get sentenced to 5 to 10 years and that's what they were hoping to not happen. Confirmation. There's something here about a corrupt organization that could be involved in this situation that's going to get in trouble as well. Someone's first middle or last name could start with an L. We got Bell. You Bell. Okay. Something here is going to get... Someone's going to get sentenced 20 to life. Or maybe this is what someone was trying to get you to be. Someone here is jealous of you. That's why they were doing this. Because someone is jealous of you. Someone's stepmama could be jealous of them. Obsessed with you. Or someone got your stepmama involved some, into something. Or someone's jealous of you because they broke and you ain't. Something about your credit score. Maybe someone's upset about your credit score. I don't know. Or your reputation. Someone doesn't like that you have a good reputation. And this keeps coming out. Try to break into your house. Now this house can be symbolic or... Um, yeah, it could be symbolic or metaphorically. Someone's trying to break into your house, to your vessel, to your mind, to your body, to your energy. Someone here is dangerous as fuck. You need to be aware of this. Whoever this angry Pisces is or whoever this angry religious person is, because Pisces also represents like religion. This person could have sex with animals. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, that's not for everybody. Something about someone's mama, dude. We got foster mom or a mother that's emotionally unavailable or detached. Um, an unnurturing mother. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Somebody's involved in some stuff they're not supposed to be. I don't know what that's about. We have haters are your confirmation that you are doing something right. Okay. So you could be experiencing a lot of people sending you um, negative energy and that's because you doing something right baby there's something here about a hateful baby mama that could be of significance in your guys' situation or someone was trying to make you look like a hateful baby mama someone here definitely scammed some sort of document or will or something or a trust or something that was left to you for sure okay we have black magic made me sick so like i was saying before if someone here was trying to make you mentally ill or make you lose your sense of reality or make you sick in any way that shit has backfired and it's happening now this person is losing their gas dang mind. Someone here also does drugs or something. We got traffic ticket. Something here about a traffic ticket is of significant. Or someone here is going to get in trouble for trafficking. We have astral travel. Someone here could have been playing with your energy at night while you were sleeping in your dreams to cipher energy off you because they need your fuel. They need you. They need your energy. They were feeding off you. This person needs your energy for finances. We have girlfriend. For some of you, this could have been an ex-girlfriend of yours. Okay? Or you're this person's ex-girlfriend. Flip it where it needs to go. Or there's someone's girlfriend that has strange-ass vibes. Okay? That was doing something to you at midnight. I don't know what that's about. We got August. Someone's someone's birthday could be in August. Someone here could be a Leo. Someone here could be, um, what is it? Virgo? I don't know. Okay? We have family drama. Your family is dangerous or they they doing something. Someone here could be 50 to 60 years old that's in your family that is dangerous. Or they're trying to put you in danger. What do we have anger? What is this anger about? Someone's angry because you love yourself, because you're the Queen of Cups. Or there's a Queen of Cups out here that's angry. And they're burdened. They don't want to let something go. They're about to have a tower moment here. Or whatever someone here did out of anger. It's it's causing their whole foundation to be destroyed. What else do they need to hear so we can bounce? Child, this is a wild ass read. Someone here is a hostess at a restaurant. Someone here is being used as a host. 
that's disgusting. Or someone wanted to use you as a host. Or someone here wanted to switch bodies with you. I don't know what that's about. Something about the number 99 is significant. Someone here could be born in 1999. This could be your birthday or something, somebody else. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? You're being asked to count your blessings. You're about to have a new beginning here. Be grateful for all the things that are happening in your life in, the, in this present moment and what's going to happen. You're somebody here who is needed in this world. This is why you're being protected. The number 44 could be very significant. You are loved. The natural world needs you. Tell me more, spirit. Somebody get in trouble. They done fucked up. Somebody fucked up. Damn. That's a lot. Yeah. This is all happening because of some sort of collision in beliefs. Differences in beliefs. Ideals. This is why someone here was attacking you. I'm also getting like somebody here was trying to tell people that your beliefs are not what you say they are. Some dumb dumb shit like that okay you guys could be dealing with someone who's always intoxicated they could be on some sort of substance all the time or somebody here wanted you to have clouded judgment they wanted you to have a distorted a distorted view about yourself who you are why you're here someone wanted you to overindulge in things that are not good for you that's why it's very important to like purify yourself right now be careful about the things that you put into your body at this time we have the past returns for our time someone here from your past might be reaching out to you okay we have a clear solution this person from your past you could have the last time you could have talked to this person could have been in um the year 2021 or 2023 that's for some of you not all y'all or 2007 for some of you yeah, you're being guided to um, to safety is what it feels like, all right? I'm also getting whoever I'm speaking to, if you decided to rebuke something or send something back, like a return to sender or something of that nature... Or just return someone's energy, like get away from me, whatever. Cut ties. Something's gonna happen to someone. It's your time to heal. I'm also getting whoever I'm speaking to, you're about to get some sort of um knowledge about some sort of solution here. Someone's first model or last name could start with a V, yours or theirs, an X, an E, a Q, a J, a B, a W, an R. An I, a B, a C, an O, a K, an E, and an S. Something here about sex. That's literally the first word I see. Someone here was trying to have sex with you, okay? Or someone might come in and try to have sex with you, okay? Or someone here is mad because someone wants to have sex with you. I don't know. Someone's name could be Rex. Someone's name could be Brett. Someone's name could be Sergey or Serge. Someone's name could be Bo. Someone's name could be Bob. Someone's name could be Bobby, Robert.
Something about boar. We got boar out here. Someone here could be bisexual or bi curious. We have bi out here. Or someone's about to say bi. Siberia? Someone here could be from Siberia? Something here about a cove? This could be like a cove, a coven, a cave. Something's coming out of the dark about an X. We got X here. Someone's ex could be involved in this situation for the show. We have the word coke out here. So someone here is sniffing the powder for the show. Or something here about a Coca-Cola. Someone here thought something was a joke. We have joke. We have joker. Okay. Maybe there's someone here that jokes a lot. We have jokes. This could have been someone who was laughing at your pain and now they're going to be crying. Jokes on them. Okay, or someone wants to come in and tell you something was a joke. Someone here could be a jock. Okay, someone here could be an athlete of some sorts. Someone here could be in a fraternity. Someone's name could be Joe or Joey. Something here about someone's voice. Somebody needs someone's voice here. Someone needs someone's voice. Someone here could sing. Or someone here is about to sing like a canary and tell the truth about something that happened on the web. We have the word web out here. Someone's name could be Jeb, Jebediah. Or something about Jebediah. Skiing. Someone here could be going to a skiing resort or is in a skiing resort or going skiing or you want to go skiing. Someone's name could be, uh, or initials could be JB or BJ, RJ, CJ. Someone's name could be Wesley or West. Someone here could drive a bike, they ride a bike. Or a motorcycle. We got bike out here. Someone's name could be Rick. We have the name Rick out here. Someone's name could be Ricky. There's something here about a rock. Someone's name could be Rocky. Or someone's, someone here is about to accomplish something here. Someone here could be Jewish. Or there's someone here that's Jewish that's involved in something here. We got Baru. Someone here can make their own brew. Or something about Bruja. There's something here about a crew of people. We have crew. K-R-I-S. What the fuck is going on? 
someone wants to come in with some sort of sob story or there's a whole crew of people that want to come in and cry about something to you I don't know what does this word mean Someone here could be into robotics. Someone's a robotic person or a... They build robots. I don't know. Someone here feels vexed by you. Someone here feels annoyed or frustrated. They also could be worried. Something is, is trivial to someone. There's a memory or a conversation that still worries someone. That you may know it causes distress to them some sort of memory you have someone's name could be vicky victor something's cringe someone always is revving their fucking engine someone's name could be reeve Reeves? Rove. Roosevelt? We got Roe. Crow? Someone here could be sending crows to you? Birds? I don't know. I'm ending this. I'm ending this show. This is getting scary. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear? Actually, before, I'm curious about this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear before we bounce? What do they need to hear for their highest good at this time regarding what we have picked up? Your ships are coming in, whoever I'm speaking to. Some of you might need to visit a lake. Or there's something here that happened at a lake. Maybe someone doesn't want you to remember what happened at a lake. Or someone here doesn't want to remember what you, what happened at a, at, on the cruise ship. You know something that happened on the cruise ship? Or at the lake? Or at a body of water? Somebody knows that you witnessed or you remember, or you remember something that happened... When it came to a fire or something that burned. I don't know why I keep getting that. Something that burned down. Something that burned. Something got scorched. Someone's trying to put out a fire they can't put out. Somebody might invite you to a lake or something. Y'all need to be careful. You and another, pe another person have polar... Um... What's it called? extreme differences in belief or something I'm also getting like someone wants you to go, go cold like someone wants you to be a cold person or something or they don't want you to be so loving and warm or what are these what do these people got to do before we bounce what do they got to do regarding the situation spirit I know this sounds random, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Something about Raisin Bran cereal? I don't fucking know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to do at this time? It says vampires. It says pray against enemies looking to drain your energy. This is what you need to do at this time. All right. By the way, this this deck is by the Pretty Oracle. She's also a YouTuber that does tarot. She's hilarious. Check her out. Tell me more. What else? What else do I need to do? 
We have Spellbreaker. It says light to aid in hex breaking. So this might be something you want to do. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Do what you want. All right? Or you need to just rebuke something here. Whatever you feel comfortable doing. I've never heard of this before. Uh, La Madamana? Listen, I can't pronounce the words. It says light for feminine astral. <laughs> I can't talk. Light. I can't talk. Light for feminine ancestral guidance in all areas of life, luck, prosperity, and protection. And if you've already done these things, then this is confirmation that this is working. We have success. You have success coming your way, okay? Nothing here can stop this. All right? You got success coming your way. What else do they need to hear? What else do they need to hear, Spirit, regarding the situation? We have wide open. It says the path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. It says no blocks, open path, yes. This is another reason why someone was mad. Because the path for you is clear. You're walking through something unscathed. Whatever they were trying to do, you, you were protected. You were not harmed. The divine kept you safe. You are fortunate. There was a trap laid out for you. But you were too smart to fall for it, chow. You're about to have a breakthrough here. Your time is now. Your time is now, baby. Your time is now. They can't stop this. What else do they need to hear, spirit? We got 888. I cannot make this up. It says a lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Someone doesn't want you to reach your greatest potential in any area. Your greatest potential of healing, your, your greatest potential of you knowing who you are or loving yourself, your greatest potential of just harnessing your own talents, your natural born talents, your spiritual gifts. Okay, someone about to get karma. Tell me more, spirit. That's what's happening right now. That's what's about to happen. That's what this shift is. We have 2002. Something about this year could be significant. It says, you have more control over your life than you realize. Learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make. So chill out, have fun, and open up. And it says go outside. Somebody somebody need to go outside, chow. Go outside. I've been saying this for I don't know how many reads. Tell me more, spirit. We got 1414. It says light up. <laughs> okay, slow down on the gancha. But we have light up. It says focus on your needs, desires, and hobbies. It says everything is more accessible with the light attitude. You will be blessed with new opportunities, a new friend, or in addition to your family. So someone here might be getting pregnant. I don't know. It says good vibes will speed up the process. Or some of you might be getting a new pet or something. Something new is coming in for you. And this weird bird. Do you hear it? I don't know what's going on. Listen. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you guys are interested in a personal reading from me, please check my description box below where it says dot, 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 more. Under the title, click that. And then my website will be down below, occultlifestyle.com. If my calendar is full and there is no purple circles around any of the dates in the calendar, that means I am booked until the next month, okay? So just keep trying, keep checking um, every Sunday. Because that's when the schedule will like open up. Um, some people, also some people miss their appointments or they cancel their appointments. So 
um, just look to see if there's free spots. Um, and if I'm still not available, you guys could go to um, mysticsense.com for another uh, opportunity for a reading, okay? This is going to be the end of your reading. Till next time, I love you. Okay, bye.